Glock 27 for Jimmy here. Today we are going to clean the throttle body on this 2015 Ram pickup. Um, I have uh, my ramps here to help me. I'm 6'2 and it's still hard to reach up in there um, in these pickups. So helps to step on this while you're leaning over and working on the vehicle. And uh, this has 51,000 miles on it. I figured it's time to check in there and see what it looks like just to make sure it's kept clean. I'm going to be using uh, throttle body and air intake cleaner, CRC. And it should be a straightforward, pretty simple, easy, easy, easy job. So we'll see how it goes. Let's get some tools and go for it. Okay, step one, uh, I'm going to disconnect the battery, the negative terminal on the battery prior to doing any work on a vehicle that especially involves unplugging things. And I will just uh, make sure that that is disconnected. And the next step is going to remove the air intake off the top of the throttle body to do that um, and I've, I've got a S&D on here so yours may look a little different depending on what you've got if you've got the stock on there it'll still be obviously similar yeah, I'm going to take the clip off there's a little button to push underneath yeah, it slides right off on mine. Uh, again, this is the S and B. This is the original clip, however, so your clip should be the same. So I'll just pull that off. I'm going to take a 5 16th wrench or a screwdriver. cap comes off pretty easy it just has a couple of rubbers that poke in there and then in the back of it has two that go in that way I want to remove that clip and to do that we'll go in there and pull that red button back see if I can get on it here and then what we're dealing with is those four green, minor green, tiny bolt heads that hold the throttle body on. I'm using a 5 16 Grab the tool of your choice. Grab a little ratchet. I'm going to put my bolts off to the side. Okay, that's four of them. And with those four removed, the throttle body comes right out. Now, that's how simple it was to take off. There's a little bit of buildup right there, a little bit of dirtiness. As you can see, let's put that light behind it a little bit, if I can. See, there's a little gap right there. A little, uh, that gap is appropriately sized. Uh, that's where it's supposed to be. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this over to the workbench and clean this. Okay, we got it over on the workbench on my trusty Glock Perfection pad. Um, one thing I wanted to say about, about these, uh, newer style throttle bodies, how they're electrically, electronically controlled, um, I am personally not comfortable pushing in on this too much. In the, you know, the older cars, 
where the throttle bodies were linkage controlled, um, you could just push on these flaps back and forth and the linkage just opened it and closed it. Um, but when, when it's electronically controlled, um, I'm afraid that moving it could uh, mess up the gears or the memory of where it was or where it's supposed to be or what, anything like that. So I'm personally going to clean this the best I can with Q-tips and, uh, and not moving it too much, uh, if at all. Uh, that's just me. Um, and I think I'll put a, a bag or something down since this is going to get a little bit messy. A little trash bag or something. So let me get that and we'll get to cleaning. Alright, so I don't know how much I missed on camera. I noticed that my camera was real blurry for a while there and wasn't picking up everything that I was hoping. Um, I started to really get some progress here. So let me show you. When I was scraping the, see if I can get that into zoom. When I was scraping the Q-tip on there, this carbon was coming off and just caked on in there. And it, although it didn't look that bad when I first took it off, I could tell that it was actually really starting to cake up a lot on the sides and along the edges. Uh, quite a bit, especially underneath on the inside, uh, which is harder to get to. So, my recommendation, a couple of recommendations, is to go ahead and remove it since it's only the four bolts and a and and the clip up at the top. Uh, and a lot easier to go ahead and remove it to clean it than it is to try to clean it from the top side and cranking down on these things and turning those when you could mess up the gears or something. Um, and then my other recommendation is when you're when you're spraying it notice how I'm holding it at this angle here there is a little bit of an opening right in here where the throttle cleaner could drip down into here and possibly get into the electronics section and maybe cause you some issues so I, I don't know for sure but that's my assumption so I would hold it just slightly at an angle this way and and uh, or upside down you know like that when you're spraying it the best you can anyway caked on it was along the edges here blocking that flow a little bit so yep take it off and spray her down And that looks really clean to me. It looks uh, that looks ready to rock and roll. Looks ready to go back on the truck, I believe. Yeah, look how nice, nice and clean. Okay, before I reinstall, I'm gonna take a look down in here and see what it looks like. Some over here getting a little bit off. Yeah, there's a little bit there. It's worth. Let me show you that gasket real quick. I just went around the edges a little bit on the inside and right where you can reach in here. And I got a little bit off. But one of the things I wanted to mention is you see this gasket right here? It goes right down in a groove. Let me pull the edge of it out a little bit so you can see. See, I pulled that edge out of it a little bit. And it just pushes down into a groove there. You want to make sure that this gasket is still in good shape. No cracks. Uh, mine, you know, looks real good still. Uh, I am going to wipe that down in the front just a little bit more. Put a little cleaner on the rag. I'm noticing some junk right there to get off. Look down in there. And mine looks pretty clean. Okay, and at this point I just cleaning down in there real good, making sure that gasket is still in the groove. And I'm not getting anything else on my rag. 
so to me, that looks nice and clean in there. So, I think I'm ready to put it back on. It's clean underneath. Let's make sure we put this on without disrupting, without disrupting the gasket. So I'm just going to gently and lightly right roll the bolt hold the line up set it right in place and, and you can kind of tell it dropped right into place there if you have some loctite you could put a little bit on these if you want i didn't job that I'm doing look up the proper torque specification for these and torque them down appropriately or if you're going to do like I do and crank them down the best you can that's what I do I just want to take a dab of the dialectic grease. I use the one from 3M here. I just lay a little bit across that so that when I plug it in, it contacts the surfaces there. Click that in place and then push in the red tab and then you're nice and secure there. Last clip back on until it snaps on. And now we've got a nice clean throttle body. Uh, and that's a great thing to do every once in a while to make sure that your carbon doesn't build up so much that you're losing horsepower. Um, and you'll end up with check engine lights and just the vehicle running rough and bad and worse gas mileage and all that stuff. So carbon bad, clean throttle body, good. All right, so we're gonna close shop. And do you do like I do? Every time you close the, the hood of your vehicle, do you take an eyeball glance all the way around the perimeter of your vehicle to make real sure that you didn't leave any screwdrivers or bolts or anything else that could mess up your hood? Good idea. All right, let's uh, start it up and we'll see if we have any check engine lights on or anything like that. All right, so hopefully not. little throttle body project for documentary purposes 51,665 miles okay she's purring didn't have any check engine lights on Say a little bit about my truck if you haven't uh, put the LED lights in your vehicle you should they are so nice on the highway out in the open land when it's really dark out and these 
stock Dodge, well, Ram, I know, technically not a Dodge anymore. These stock Ram pickups have horrible yellow lights from the factory. And you don't sometimes realize it until you put, I put the Putco Silver Star or Silver Lining, I know it's by Putco, I can look it up if anybody's interested. I, I put that light in here uh, and I put it in here, let me show you the brights too. So now for a while I only had the, the low beams in there and what was really odd is when I had the brights on, the brights were yellow and the, and the low beams were, were white and I just didn't like the way it looked. I thought, eh, why not? Let's go ahead and put the brights in there as well. well the brights are extremely bright. Uh, and out when you're, when you're all by yourself on a, on a lonely highway, a lonely dark highway, these brights could save your life. Seriously. I mean, you can see deer way down there where you would not be able to see them with the stock lights on this. I think they're a little pricey, admittingly. Uh, however, it's worth it, well worth it. I did my fog lights too, they're not on right now, and I did smoke the lenses of the fog lights. Um, but I did put, well here, I'll turn them on. But I did put the LEDs in there as well. I put LEDs all over the place. In, inside, you know, I put them I put them there, and I put them in, in the back, back here. So anyway, uh, I just wanted to mention that about the uh, the LEDs it has nothing to do with the throttle body. I know uh, it's fun to fix up your Rams, put the wheels and tires on that you like. I have a negative offset on mine to make them stick out about an inch, to make it a little beefier. Um, and then uh, I went with a setup of having a uh, some side steps on there that come out to about where the where the tires are flush so they don't stick it. I hate, this is just me. There's a couple things that I hate. No, not hate, but just not prefer. Have you ever seen those vehicles where the side steps stick way out of the vehicle? Visually, I think it just looks so stupid. I put dual exhaust on here and I just went out the sides on the back, right back there. And I debadged it. You know, I took the 4x4 and the Ram 1500 off, off the side, but I left the Hemi badge because it's smaller and not too visually. Uh, here, let me. From this side. Hopefully, you might have picked up uh, a bit or two of information uh, on this video. I hope it helps somebody out there in YouTube land. So this is Glock 27 for Jimmy. Even though we did not discuss Glock pistols again because I like to discuss car repairs, home repairs, basic general things of interest. Um, and I know it's kind of a, a YouTube channel that's all over the place, but hey, it's just a bunch of people learning how to do stuff and sharing tips and pointers with each other. I appreciate all the videos that I've watched uh, over the years learning how to do this and that and so I want to contribute uh, with some things that I tackle myself not a professional and I'm not giving advice I am just recording me doing things on my own to try and save money so with that this is Glock 27 for Jimmy over and out <laughs>